First up today, we're going to take you off to Australia to check out an ingenious gadget designed to keep you safe if you happen to be in shark-infested waters. The coast of Western Australia. At first glance, pure beauty, but beneath the surface, a lurking threat. Since the number of shark attacks that have occurred on this coast over the last few years um, has put me off my surfing. I don't surf anymore. With seven fatal attacks in three years, the shore lives up to its terrifying nickname, the shark attack capital of the world. It's going to be a lot of fun. Today, Lindsay Lyon is out to prove there is a powerful tool that can keep these predators at bay. What's at stake is people's lives, so there's a lot at stake and a lot of reasons to make sure this product works well. But first, they'll need to lure the sharks in. You chuck this bucket in here, Jamie. Yep. It smells great. I think we should keep these fish for ourselves, frankly. I don't know why we're going to give them to the sharks, but anyway, good to go. They're heading 25 kilometers off the coast to a hot spot. We've got a light wind, we've got a low swell, so plenty of sunshine, so it's good for filming underwater. And we're not expecting any problems, but Murphy's law is that when you're testing and you're working with animals, there could be a problem. Lindsay's the force behind Shark Shield, an electric shark deterrent. Simply a power generator here that sits in a pouch that attaches to your ankle for the diving version. It's got two electrodes. You can see a piece of stainless steel here. And what happens is the salt water acts as a conductor between the two electrodes. And that's what creates this very, very large electrical field, usually around four to six meters. If a shark comes close, it'll trigger their sixth sense thanks to tiny gel-filled sacs in its snout. Sharks have an extra sense that we don't have, and most animals don't have. The ability to sense very, very small electrical current. So they'll use it, for example, to find food that might be hidden underneath the sand. This is what happens when one comes face to face with the shark shield. When the shark gets close enough, it causes spasms in the gel-filled sacs. It causes a massive headache, if you like, and the shark turns away. It's like fingernails on a, on, on a chalkboard. But they're finding not all sharks react the same way, so they've got to keep on testing. I think if we, if we put the, the main shark shield part, you know, either down here, like this, and then if we extend that right out, we're going to get the maximum electrical field He's enlisted the help of two intrepid freedivers, Andre Raruka and Johnny Debnam. The electric field's going to cover the camera and the fish, yeah. and then we'll get maximum protection for that area. Yeah. So we should get really good footage with that. Their rig is outfitted with the shark shield and a camera. Some big whalers out here, they reckon, up to nine foot. As long as we don't get a great white coming along taking the camera, whilst we'll have great footage, I'm not sure how we're going to get the camera back. They're serving up a tasty treat of frozen fish guts and blood called burly or chum. We've got chum in the middle here, it's tuna heads. Um, and we've also got a bait on the end here. Um, so any sharks come within the area, it should pick them up. We've found a location and this guy's been catching a lot of fish around here, but they've also been having a lot of trouble landing the fish because the sharks have been taking them before they can get them on the boat. The boys will be bravely jumping in to set the rig. For peace of mind, they take a shark shield. Well. They drop it 40 meters down to the seabed. Now, they wait. Awesome, yeah. I'm excited to see what goes on. Yeah. We'll just wait. Uh, the burly will dissipate and attract the sharks, and then we'll uh, have the shark shield on, which should deter the sharks from eating the bait. We've been down there for about an hour and uh, 30 minutes now. So we just pulled this up and we'll. Uh, We'll get a hold of it and we'll have a look at some of the footage. No sharks. They drop it again. At the bottom, it takes in the scenery. Curious fish, a hungry eel, 
The shark shield is on, but they don't even notice. Then, a tiger shark comes in for a sniff, but doesn't take the bait. For Lindsay, this shot is as good as gold. Strong evidence that the shark shield is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. If we can make the world more aware of a proven technology that can save lives, then it's a good business and it has a lot of personal reward from it. Okay, here's an interesting sidebar for you. U.S. long-distance swimmer Diana Nyad relied on the Shark Shield technology for her epic world record Cuba to Florida marathon swim back in August to protect her against possible shark attacks. Now, if you want to see the surfboard version of this tech, head to our website, discovery.ca slash dailyplanet. We have an exclusive web extra just for you.